This is the last chance to save Fintorn Beach, a beach that has been voted amongst the world's top 10 by the renowned National Geographic magazine and now about to be altered forever. We need you to help us save it. Campaign for Wild Spaces was formed when Murray Council approved the building of 30 beach huts on one of the most beautiful parts of the beach. Fintorn and its beautiful wild space has been threatened many times. The first Fintorn over there was washed away. The coastal erosion of the 1960s threatened to wash away the beach and the dunes in this area and it was only prevented 30 years ago by the building of the sea defences you see behind us. This beach is under threat again, this time from the commercial development of 30 beach huts, huts that over 300 people objected to in this community, huts that the planning office opposed, but the Murray Council approved. Here where children camp and play, where families picnic and where we all like to come and spend a quiet moment looking out to sea, this really just isn't the place for any type of building. My name is Pat Carroll. I'm the chairman of the management committee of the Fintorn Bay Local Nature Reserve. Fintorn Bay is one of the most amazingly superb areas of natural conservation left in Scotland. I've been very fortunate here in Fintorn. I first came up oh, as a young man of 19. I couldn't believe actually that anybody lived this far north, uh, particularly as it was December and there were six inches of snow on the ground. But since then I have gained an abiding love of this area, of the beauty of the marsh, of the bay, mountain stream and forest. It is an area where the whole of Scotland should take great delight over and I find it, forgive me, extraordinary that they are the planning permission to build unsightly beach huts um, in an area of natural beauty as it is to be reprehensible and I am amazed that it was so. The council cannot find a way to overturn this planning error. Therefore, the local community have no option but to take this matter to the Court of Session in Edinburgh. We have already raised enough funds to start a legal challenge to this decision. But in cases like this, it is difficult to know how much the final bill will be. Our legal advisers believe that two points of planning law have been broken and that we have a strong case. But in order to save our beach, we need your support. We have already raised £9,000 within this community and we need to raise another £30,000. This particular area between those steps and those steps over there is actually a designated nature reserve. It's used for educational purposes by, you know, youngsters in the schools in this area. It's unbelievable, really, that it should be built upon. It's just, I cannot work it out how anybody could be thinking of doing this. Many thousands of people from around the world visit this National Geographic recognised beach and this coastline. Let's help stop this vandalism that's going to happen to the beach. Let's help keep the sand and the the grasses that have made their home here as well as the birds and the sand lizards who have been here for a very, very long time. This is your chance to become part of the story of Fintorn, to preserve its beautiful beaches and to make sure that they're still here for generations to come. Thank you for any support you can give to this project.